not too bad, not too shabby. I uh I like it. It's it's got an interesting tone to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It has its own little thing. It's for sure. It's gonna be different for sure. Definitely different. Yeah, like, but I yeah. think that's I think that's kind of their point, and I think that's something they're trying to do heavily in this one is kind of like do something a little different. Uh, yeah, especially in this movie, I I'm ho I want it doesn't look like they're gonna. I wanted Black Widow to be a spy movie. I wanted it to be like full blown James Bond or Ocean's Eleven kind of like. Here's you know here's the plan with some comedy and and you know bring in a uh, random Marvel character once or twice just for shits and gigs, uh, but it looks like they're just gonna go with the action packed kind of stuff they usually enjoy doing, uh, which yeah. isn't bad. Yeah, and I'm I mean, excited. Yeah, for for what uh, they're gonna do. I'm kind of just excited to see Angelina Jolie's little uh, character in this. Uh, who's supposed to be Athena, right? I, I think so, or th or the I think it's just Thena or Thesa or Thena or something. I can't remember. Uh, let Let's see. Not, this is I'm a good time. Fully totally involved into the. No, internet. I'm I'm not either, and I've done a little bit with the history of Thanos, and then I'm reading the new Eternal stuff, which is actually really interesting in its own way. First issue still. I still got to catch up on that one. It's not. It's not like it's great or anything. But it just seems uh, to ha it has a tone, right? Like of its own. It reminds me a lot of like a mix, kind of jo of Jonathan Hickman and uh, not Donny Cates, but <sighs> there's somebody else I'm thinking of, and I can't think who. But it, it's got like this very like split tone of like dry comedy, and then like very like ordered serious storytelling uh-huh so it, it's interesting i do think uh that in general even on the marvel side of like fan bases the eternals are not typically popular no not very very even, much even less so than the uh in humans i'd yeah, say i would say yeah they're yeah they're probably maybe at the very yeah bottom no to i mean important. they're definitely they're definitely not at the very bottom just because of how many crazy, obscure, bad teams and stuff there are out there. N no offense, and it's on both sides, right? Like Marvel and DC. Marvel, I do think, might have more bad, like, B characters that never get to see the light of day again because they just try it once and then they figure out it's bad. Whereas DC sometimes just says, well, we made a guy a villain with a kite, just make it work. <laughs> Which they made it work, to be fair, and some of the writing Kite Man works, but for it for all general purposes, let's be honest, Kite Man is a, a villain that should have long ago stopped appearing in comics. Um, love you, Kite Man. Don't 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 send death threats to me, Kite Man fans. But uh, no, the 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 truth is that they're 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 definitely less known than anybody else who's been put up on the roster um hands down i'd say even you know guardians were a little more well known and were like doing their own thing in the comics at the time right. but the turtles have just never popped off for sure the movie i think gave the guardians a little even more of a oh yeah absolutely. popularity on the comics no, yeah, but for sure. we'll see if, it, if this does the same for the eternals maybe this will I, bring i'm you know marvel's done a really good job at that and pushing the comic and movie side together when there's a movie coming out the comic character gets a boost like whether it's a power boost or more issues or their own solo run for the first time in 10 years they've been doing a pretty good job of that even to like minor points where like after shatterstar appeared in deadpool he finally got his own solo series again even if it was just a little four mini issue uh it was something because his character was well known enough that they thought, well, maybe we could sell some comic books since he was played by whoever or whatever. And I think they're going to do a really good job. Like, I, I'm not, like, hesitant at all about it, especially after seeing that trailer and seeing the direction they seem to be taking with it, which is kind of a different kind of... It's not, like, really going to be so much the standard superhero it looks like model mm -hmm. it looks like it's going to be um 
definitely I, yeah i don't I feel don't like that superhero kind of, i mean it's gonna be superhero but it's just yeah, i know what you mean so it just doesn't feel like a superhero movie right in, yeah. the, in the way that logan is a superhero movie that is not just a superhero movie you know what i mean uh i know a lot of people even people who are not like big comic book movie fans who are like look that is more of a western type movie or a you know what i mean uh as opposed to the classic right superhero movie where the good guys win at the end right and uh the problems get solved and the city gets saved and the bad guy gets beaten yeah uh, and it doesn't necessarily look like eternals will follow the same once again not to be critical of marvel but they have a very like uh they they have a uh formula you know what i mean to make these movies work in a lot of ways and while they like are each unique and individual in their own ways they definitely follow the marvel formula of like you know be serious hit them with the feels but also don't be afraid to like throw a joke in and like lighten the mood uh they do the classic kind of superhero right like origin story kind of thing where right yeah. with, the, with the exception of like guardians or things like that to a point so i'm, I'm excited i don't know it look they have a lot of good stuff coming out uh with venom and this I, obviously that's not mcu but i just mean marvel characters in general yeah no, um i mean just the just the list of like you know actors on here is pretty good too i mean uh, yeah I was really surprised how many good i didn't even know this i didn't see salma did you see salma in there yeah she was uh fuck. i thought i did da, I da, missed da. Her. she's a jack who is yeah i might have missed her but yeah i'm just six i'm curious on how this whole you know what they're gonna do with the eternals and how far will they go with the internals or there's just gonna be a one and kind of done thing and i don't know what well, i'm just curious to see where they how they take a bigger uh, part into the mcu now no absolutely uh, and i uh, you know the funnier what they bring too you know yeah like it, villains it's, or... especially considering their typical history in the marvel universe being kind of tied in with thanos and stuff mm -hmm. uh i think that's where their intro is going to come in if they stick with their original backstory right which we have no clue they could totally change the eternals backstory for all i know um but i think it'll be an interesting pull to be like all right well we came because thanos did this and we finally noticed or i don't know that was that was one of the things i saw in the comments that was hilarious is like people are, like if they stick with the original backstory they're gonna just have to show up and explain where the, they were at for thanos and why and apologize just like i'm so sorry that is <laughs> He, he, whooped, he whooped our asses and we didn't want to deal with him again it was too much know, we'll it was too much trouble no it, he, it'll be he, was a very, he was one of the one of those titans that you know as soon as he was even a baby he was like people disliked him so much because he was you know grotesque and uh it was uh, weird what, what, it depends on what the, did they the, call, the uh, origin uh, those side of the internals they called them, they called uh, those were deviants but deviants, Thanos himself on uh when they were on sat where were, the, were they at on the moon of saturn i can't remember the name of the moon oh when they were in the avengers movie no in the comic ones because i'm oh, trying to remember God. his because i think he has a i don't remember if he got a retcon past or a brand new past or oh, no, because they called him on the first issue i do remember them calling him a deviant uh because they you know because this is uh the first time internals issues been around for a while so they were kind of catching people up on like well, who are the internals and yeah and what are they and so I, yeah I think and, I and he has like a deviant gene one. or something but once again they've changed and done a bunch of crazy like you know how the comics get <laughs> there's how, yeah. this is like Did everybody's you new, uh, retcon with the uh, i guess everyone uh is millennials like spider-man and uh, oh yeah no i haven't seen that yet that'll be interesting that was, I, that was the champions issue because i forgot how it came about but kamala khan had said that uh th something about like they won't know what they're doing because they're millennials or something like that yeah so which is so funny because originally they're all like boomers yeah 
Hello, yeah, boobies. I mean, I guess they go with the times, right? <laughs> to be fair, Marvel has said repeatedly that they work on a sliding time scale. So mm-hmm. as as uh, time moves forward, the events that like happen, with with the exceptions of certain characters, uh, so for example, right, like Charles Xavier was originally in the Vietnam War or whatever war he was in they would move that up as time went on to the Afghanistan war. And same with Tony Stark, right? Like, they would move these events from this war to another war. Um, and and nowadays, they they try to keep it very, like, loose, I think, since, like, 2000 or something. they stay away from that kind of stuff. Yeah, because they, they stay away from right. hard dates. Because, yeah. The only per- people I know that, like kind of don't do that is magneto because he's his background is tied in with the holocaust Uh, yeah captain america as well the cool thing with cap though is he basically just stays frozen until whatever time period they need him to be alive it's like all right how long was he frozen 90 years now 100 years man he's been frozen a long time this is starting to get a little tough to explain he's getting freezer burn oh no but no i mean it's interesting how they do it and it's it's something that you either you have to either address uh or do something about right either so like one reason magneto does work is that at some point in the comics they like remade his body younger and the same for like professor x right and now the mutants are like clear and free of that yeah they don't even use yeah obviously that's going away eventually the respawn but I, i don't know i think it makes for an interesting story device because it is a contingency thing, right? Like you respawn as long as the machine's working or yeah. Yeah. He has, he has the Cerebro helmet still. Yes. And, and I don't know if you ever got to X of swords or not. Oh my gosh, bro. I need to catch up with so much X. I, I, so I have to catch up on a bunch of stuff too. It's all right. That's the only one I'm going to get like really far behind on the universe with is X-Men. To be right fair, now. they're doing, and I will say they're doing a good job of not making it, obnoxious in comic that they have so many x-men titles because usually it's like all these x-men titles and if you don't follow all the x-men titles you like you have no idea what's going on from chapter to chapter yeah the um i think there's some that are not supposed to be coming back like i think new mutants isn't coming back in august yeah that makes sense excalibur isn't coming back in august um there was another one i believe that was not coming back in august as well which i'm all right um, with because they had already just added like three new books so it it's like every the time X, they get rid of one uh, they get what was more. it corp x <laughs> yeah so we'll see we'll see how they go and they've had their whole thing going with and like the hellfire they're gala. Cable, they're bringing old man cable back which will be interesting because i feel like it's a little rough because they had already done with this with the original x-men so it was already a played out idea we knew it wasn't gonna last forever or if it I was mean, it was gonna he should have just brought them well, i don't know maybe that's okay the way he's doing it but i i, don't know. I, I just don't see the point of like the with with very few exceptions to the main storyline i don't feel like it ever mattered that young cable was young cable i don't like there were some things like in a minor storytelling capacity, such as his interaction with like Scott as a kid or uh, dating the cuckoos or things like that. But aside from that, I really don't see the reason for Young Cable because he didn't do anything really that different than yeah. anybody, any of the other Cable ones, except for he stuck around and he... he it was kind of it's kind of ridiculous because he his whole bitch was that cable was interfering too much not doing his job and like going soft but all he did was stay there with the x-men and not do his job yeah i didn't that was not a very good uh it wasn't a great it wasn't a great one i mean it was the the event itself was okay of like all right young cable comes and kills old cable I was cool with that, but then you got to do something with that that makes a difference, right? Like, why does it matter that you killed old Cable if young Cable is just going to exact act the exact same way? Like, you needed to have young Cable do some shit differently or, like, 
I don't know, not I, I don't know. I don't know what they needed to do there. Right. But right. I know that they didn't it it didn't work out very well in my opinion. I'm sure some people loved it and still love him and it's not like I don't like the character or the design of Young Cable. Hmm. But I just don't see the point of him story-wise. All right. Well, let's see here. Some other big news that I was super excited about is Meta Octopus is coming back. Yeah, the movie. <laughs> I was like, Fine. Well, hey, that's cool. I mean, at least they do a movie. I'm, I'm okay if they don't do another show, but I, they need to give us something to kind of finally end the whole thing off, right? The problem um, was that I don't think they ever had a real clue what the, they were doing in the sense of like the, the big plan behind the plan that they always had like lurking throughout the seasons. And they had that weird... I mean, not weird, weird, but weird musical episode quadro finish. I don't know. It was a weird one. It was cool. But I definitely didn't think it should have been the last episodes, like you said. I think it needed a better, like... I think once they kind of figured out what they were, like you said, it, it started to kind of got, got, get a lot better with the writing and uh, just some of the antics are kind of more funnier and not just, like, random just bullshit sometimes <laughs> yeah the, the adult swim classic special of no brain no plot no writing it's all right so it's funny because adult swim does produce some pretty interesting or funny shows despite I mean, it, that being the general it's a good place to like you know get your stuff out that like you know that may not hit a very good wide audience that you know will be right like, hey, or it's just... once again just a little rough and is not like once again, especially considering Adult Swim existed in a time before, like, you could just put all that shit on YouTube or stump something, which yeah, is what they yeah. do now. But before, Adult Swim was the place where you're like, look, I got this idea, but I don't have a shit ton of money. And I, I like... I don't think nobody's gonna like this. Yeah, I, I don't think people are gonna like it too much. And then you still get people who like it, like, even things that like, I couldn't do, like the Tim and Eric show or whatever. Uh, which, yeah, Tim and Eric, I couldn't do. I, I just some, couldn't. I but really they had do. they had a huge I, at rabbit following. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they got movies and seasons and renewals. So, and to be fair, I mean, they, I think they had the lowest budget in the world. No, like, is it was like two chairs and a fucking. Yeah, some of the other ones they have on there are just ridiculous. Still, oh, they, they still I mean, they they shows, still right. have some stuff that is just like. And to be fair, like I said, that's kind of their formula is like, all right, let's just go with no plot, no script kind of thing and see what we make and see if it's funny. And sometimes it is. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes it's not. And it's fine. Uh, I, and once again, like even even the bad things are sometimes good. Uh, but uh, hey, Squid Billies. <laughs> yeah. I like me some Squid Billies. Squid Billies. The thing about Squid Billies that kind of fucks with me is despite how utterly stupid it is and like ridiculously bad in almost every single way you can tell the people who write it are really smart yeah they do they have some very good uh there's a lot jokes. of like really good humor and framing of stuff it's just made purposely like kind of like <laughs> shit <laughs> it's so funny to me because like i know some of them are like so bad but like they really do hit so many funny little things on there where I'm like, they actually are not bad writers. They just, like, wrote this ridiculous story on drugs or something. I don't know, man. It was, it's great, though. Uh, um, I fucking love that shit. I know that you were a huge fan of Venture Brothers, right? Yes, which is... So, uh, are you yeah. glad that that's coming back for a movie, I think, too, right? I, I mean, I'm happy. I, I thought it was deserving of more seasons, especially because... The way it's written is so, uh, fucking Johnny Quest. Like, it's so yeah, Johnny that's, Quest. That's, that's exactly but the, what I but always the, felt That's like it why it's so continuable is because it's like a Saturday morning cartoon where, like, anything could happen, right? Like, I the moon monster. I never got into it, but, you know, I think it's just because I, I would always watch the episodes, like, mid-in, like, and so I never knew what the hell was going on, so I, the, I don't think... Yeah, that... it does have somewhat of a plot, or at least this, like running and i think some even the jokes yeah were like running jokes so like i didn't get the joke sometimes i'm like well that must have been funnier on another i don't know so sometimes i would just like i, I just never really got into it. i'm pretty sure it's a great show i just would probably have to it's start pretty good i mean once again it's it's all something too that i, I try to like remind people it's like it's just relative right like some people find some things funny and don't find some things funny and it's there's no like universally funny thing or not funny thing right like the the uh even the best jokes like some people just don't laugh or 
you know, uh, some people laugh at like random things that aren't that funny. Uh, my my other favorite one that I'm so happy that they're bringing back is my Aqua Teen. Uh, oh yeah, Aqua Teen always. The, my thing is they did that whole the last season forever right. for real, no more comeback yeah. seasons because I feel like they kept getting like funding and they were like, no, we're done. I don't want to make this shit anymore. <laughs> Stop asking. You need to keep going, bro. This is the best thing. <laughs> it's so funny. Once again, it's it's along that Squidbillies thing where it's like there's no real storyline. There's no real plot or or structure to anything. It's just like, what can we do to make somebody laugh or do whatever the fuck we want to make a silly story? Right. So I'm super excited for that to come back. So I can't wait to see for when these come back up. It, it probably won't be for a while. I'm probably guessing since they just got greenlit, we probably maybe won't see them till maybe ne- uh, the end of next year. Um, yeah, right, sorry, uh, I, yeah. So we'll see. I don't maybe. know what their production pro- uh, processes are like because they probably are still old school. If I had to <laughs> guess, just because that's when they were originally made, so it's not like they're gonna just switch to a whole new style of making the show, <laughs> right? Uh, so yeah, probably later next year. I would hope once again that you know you get it earlier, but. I'm just glad they're coming back, like you said. It's just good to see them, because especially certain ones, like you said, like uh, Squidbillies, like they're never like canceled. They're just sitting in hiatus forever. Like you never hear about a new season, but like I remember, I was like, Squidbillies canceled. It has to be. And then I remember I was looking, and it's like a tweet from the Squidbillies account. I was like, nobody told us we're canceled, so we're still making the next season. <laughs> and I was just like. I just, that's how I feel. They have a lot of seasons for sure, Squidbillies, yeah. They got a lot. To be fair, um, I mean, they're like 15-minute episodes, so. Yeah. Um, Let's see. What, um, We have, let's see. Oh, uh, Disney Plus, yeah, did say that they're having the Monsters uh, at Work original series comes out July 2nd. That'll be cool. Um, from what I heard, it's supposed to have all the original voice actors, you know, come up and do their voices. I don't know how much they will be involved in the show. Maybe they'll just have a few scenes here and there, you know, because you got to pay a little extra money for them higher <laughs> actors there. Yeah. Um, but Which we'll is see. so rough for me because, especially if they're not busy and it's just voice acting, you can do that shit from yeah, home that's now. just I know, it's crazy. Like, because uh, I was reading, uh, like, how much Tom Hanks made when he did the uh, Toy Story stuff. He made a pretty good amount on the first one, and he made even more on the second one. <laughs> so it's like, gosh. Which bro. is even funnier to me because, like, and don't get me wrong, as, like, an audio guy, like, I, more than anybody, notice the difference in voice actors when they change or do things. But there are amazingly talented people out there who can absolutely mimic somebody else's voice. Yeah. And I never understand why they don't just fucking hire one of those people and get them to do it. I don't know. Maybe it's just the authenticity or I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's a legal thing. You can't like mimic someone's voice because it belongs be it to them. That, that could be it. Yeah, but be, what if yeah. two people have the same exact voice? <laughs> so uh, I was pretty excited for that, though, to, uh, to come back here. Um, let's see what else I have here on my little list here. Oh. Uh, Oh, um, He-Man stuff got, um, not, not the trailer yet, but we got a bunch of images for, I think this is going to be Kevin, um, yeah, it's Smith's, Kevin Smith's uh, He-Man, He-Man stuff, and, uh, the um, action figures are already coming out for it, and they look That'll be badass. cool. I don't think I've checked out any of the art yet. I've only yeah, heard this, out. the intro it song. It looks very anime-ish, western kind of style. You, you know, the new style kind of. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, I'm fine with that. I I don't know why, but I was just imagining getting another She-Ra. And I know it wasn't that bad. I, you know, but... I'll tell you right that me and my son loved the She-Ra show. I don't know what it was. It was just... I'm I sure. Just like, I, just like good, I just like storytelling, good storytelling. I think good storytelling is the most important thing for me. And so any story that has that, like, it doesn't matter. Like, I've talked about it before. But... Uh... It... To... Like, I, I do get hooked on certain things, right? Like, and will go towards certain... Yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah, 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 over yeah, others. Yeah. Yeah, Just yeah, certain yeah. things, too. Like, I mean... Oh, man, that reminds me. I did want to talk about that, and I was going to try to talk about it, like, last week, but I uh, was busy in that uh, the 
speaking of art that stands out and is like one of those ones that just like catches your attention the uh author for the berserk manga finally passed away unfortunately. oh yeah was he I, the, he didn't finish though did he no no he's been heard. he's been sick for I mean, that's what it was 10 yeah, years he was, he was yeah he was very he sick was, so he, never he, was, really... he, he maybe released for a while there he released like a couple chapters a year and then you would get a couple years between chapters uh and so i think since 2013 or 2015 probably i can i'm not going to be exact on that because i don't remember he had been sick and stopped and it was after you know he had reached like a peak of the arc and he released maybe another 20 chapters after that total i think uh, or maybe 30, maybe a little bit more. But yeah, he, there was basically a pretty big break at the end of this one. And he was, uh, um, it was it was widely kind of joked about, but not really kind of joked about, because we also were all very aware in the manga community of his health, that uh, he was going to die before the series ended. Like, we were not getting the end of the series. And so that was kind of the, wide, kind of the widely accepted... You know, it would have been uh, not nice if he, like, not nice, but, like, you know, it would have been cool, like, if he, yeah. like, put in his will that, like, he just wrote the ending, be like, hey, you know, whoever you know who... gets the ending, this is what I wanted it to I, get to. I know I talk, <laughs> I know I talk about it too much, but do you know who did do that? And uh, oh, the, the author of One Piece has done that. He has oh, a safe okay. where he has written the, because he's had the ending written. And I think that's the problem is I don't think Berserk was being was finished mm. um berserk was very much like a uh an evolving piece and it was a super i don't know if you've ever read the manga or checked out any of the panels you know i never read the manga, and i never really got into the show because it was one of those shows that used too much cgi but it it was like the the beginning of like the the anime CGI kind of stuff, and so I yeah, it, it was one of the CGI. first shows that was done all in CGI, I think. So I never um, really got into it because of that, and and that I was mean, the I new could... show. The old show from was from the '90s, and so that one's okay, ah, but okay. that one's got the '90s art style, so it kind of looks like it's funny actually. Uh, Sean Schemmel, uh voices one of the characters in oh, the nice. '90s version. He's just like he's just like a minion. That's how old it is, is he's still not popular as uh, Goku yet. Uh, and so, like, the main character is, like, talking to Shashin. He's like, hey. And he's like, oh, with Goku's voice, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Um, they did do some movies that had way better animation uh, called The Golden Eggs. Those ones were pretty decent. But in general, the animes have never lived up to the art style. Uh, and I don't think most anime studios could even live up to the art style. Uh, Mappa and uh, Mad Dog could probably do it justice, but besides that, I don't think anybody else would be able to touch it. Well, he, he's insanely detailed in shading and lining. Nice. To the so, yeah, he's it was crazy, but yeah, so yeah, stuff like that <laughs> is ones where it's like the exact opposite of like it didn't matter how good his story was. It his, his story is really good too. Don't get me wrong, Berserk is a good story, but the art is so good it doesn't matter. Like, you, you don't need to even, like, know the story. You just go look at panels and be like, oh, shit, this is dope. <laughs> you could literally nice. just frame up panels from the manga on the wall, and they would be perfect as, like, black and white portraits. But, nice, uh, nice. yeah, so there was well, that. Oh, I know Dark Horse um was publishing a lot of his work, and they have even, like, big giant uh size manga books that you guys can pick up if you guys yeah, want they, to they I picked it up, up after uh actually who was the original publisher i wonder if it was actually originally published by dark horse but they picked it up i think after the original publisher yeah and they said they're still gonna continue it. to keep publishing uh his which will work. be great they said. Da -da 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 I'm supposed to be reading Invincible, my compendium, on Friday, so I'll let you... Uh, somebody was showing me the compendium online, and they were like... Uh, and they put, like, a bookmark of, like, where it was, and they were like, this is where we're at. I'm like, shit, we're not even halfway there. <laughs> this was... <laughs> I forgot. They've actually switched publishers quite a few times. They started at, like, an old one called Monthly Animal House. 
Oh, okay. And they've gone through a bunch of ones. But I think uh, now they still belong to Young Animal and are sinning. They might just license out to Dark Horse. For they probably the they probably do. I I figured after however long they would have like just dropped it because once again there were there were long. I mean it's been being made since 1989. Well, they they've been doing like these special edition books is what they've been doing. Uh, so oh I yeah, I, I I'm sure that does. I just meant uh the original. Oh okay. Runs. I see. Although I see. now she, I'm glad. I guess they're glad they didn't because they're. Uh, berserk is selling out now that he's uh passed away which is interesting to me because i don't I, th- I feel like i'd be less invested in a series i knew was never gonna end yeah i would definitely not want to get into that it's, after what, knowing that, it's like... one of the reasons i stopped following case closed the author no, didn't but... die he just said he's never gonna end it oh no see i don't like things like that he either. said like, it on I... purpose it's to be fair, his story isn't built for that necessarily, but I see. It, yeah, he it's has like no a like family guy. It's like a Family Guy where it could just be anything. For kind of the problem is he <laughs> does have like this overarching story, right? Like, but it's just not important. Like, it's it's basic, like kind of mystery stuff, and then the important stuff is like it's just like a it's kind of like a fucking TV drama, like a murder mystery drama. So like every episode is just a new who done it and how they done it, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh and it's cool. I mean, it was popular, it got its own anime and I mean, Case Closed is is a old school staple, but it's never going to end. <laughs> oh. Um, let's see here. Um we also do have the I don't know if you know, knew that the Snake Eyes trailer came off I or did. came yeah, I did uh, see that, which is – it's so funny to me because they also had just done Snake Eyes versus Batman recently uh, in the comics. Yeah, they're they're really going hardcore with the G.I. Joe stuff just because, like I said, Hasbro uh, re-brought the line back to life, and it's been it's been going crazy. Like, out of all the other lines, like, those – I mean, G.I. Joe has, like – G.I. Like, <laughs> Joe has a very strong following, just like Transformers and just it like – It does. I mean, I, I've never got into it, but it's Yeah, just, it was never like, my it's following, but – yeah, they they're very good at making these kind of like cult, not cult, but like fandoms. You know what yeah. I mean? They they like good at making an individual property and and it being and, unique. Because like GI is perfect time this this nostalgia, especially with everyone. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, and even beyond that, I mean, it's just one of those series that was a good concept that was stuck in a kid's show kind of like transformers like transformers did a little better i think of not being a week-to-week cartoon and having like that overarching story whereas gi joe's was very much more like go joe get cobra this time and their weather machine um and kind of villain of the week status stuff in that little end cap hey guys don't you smoke (laughs) right like don't smoke guys Whereas the potential for the actual, like, all right, a worldwide, you know, crew of individual agents who are all diverse in their skills and backgrounds, and then the blind ninja, or whatever, <laughs> deaf ninja, um, I, I think that there's a lot of potential there for good movie series, right? Like, in the same sense that, like, Transformers is just a really cool idea that can be made better by the higher level of technology and production and story writing. Uh, although they went a little overboard <laughs> in Transformers. Whoa, they Michael bait it up good, Michael man. Bay, yeah, took it to the next level. <laughs> Once again, the first one, the first couple were fine, but after, were good, were after good, two, again. they started going a little bit like, well, what about the story? They started, going like, they just started going like Fast and the Furious, or it's just like, what the can new, we do next? The next <laughs> Fast and the Furious is like, what are we doing now? <laughs> flying cars. <laughs> We're going to space <laughs> to fly <laughs> cars. <laughs> what are we going to do after that? We're going to drive against the devil. Oh. <laughs> At some point, it's got to stop. I mean, I say that, but J- Jason and Freddy aren't. I mean, they didn't stop, but they slowed down at least. Well, and those are the only reason why that is hasn't been going Jason is like in uh, licensed limbo right now. Um, I don't know if you knew. Yeah, that's why the Friday the 13th <laughs> game, they actually had to pull their updates from it because they lost their licensing to it because of all this, the, the nonsense of it going on. So like right now, 
Yeah, there's a legal battle going on for it. I think that one and Freddy right now are having a legal battle. And you know which another one is having a legal battle is Predator, uh, because now the creators, um, which I guess there's a, there is a law where after a certain amount of time, um, you know, the license has been out, the original owner can come back and try to obtain the rights again for it. So that's what they're doing now. Now that it's with Disney. <laughs> um no, so there's that one too <laughs> um but yeah that's uh, that's the reason for jason i i, oh. I hope they, they make some because they were even supposed to make a show i remember too as well but that also got booted because of all that too as well oh okay with that actually i'm not sure about a jason some TV things show. aren't always made to show like i don't know about the powerpuff girl show they even had to i guess uh yeah they had to rework the pilot episode they said might have to, I don't know that that one is one of those ones like I said I, it's kind of like for One Piece right like I've said repeatedly I love One Piece but I don't ever want a live action One Piece <laughs> I just think it'll it'll it either won't capture the it's a cartoon it's it's made to look ridiculous and out of proportion and comically you know comic if you just take them back to like regular people and then make all of the villains like realistic monsters or realistic people, I just don't feel like it'll have anywhere near the same like impact of the story. It just, it's not like bleach, right? Where like everybody is just a person again, still, right? Yeah. Like, so being goofy and stars, yeah. yeah. And so the wackiness worked there because they weren't like, once again, I mean, there's some people in One Piece where their legs are smaller than their, than their head. <laughs> so it's like they're they're made on that way on purpose, right? Like they're made exactly, to be yeah. dumb and comical, and you know, Tom and Jerry in the vase. It's it's made yeah. to be like that, honestly. <laughs> um, and so I don't want to see it like that. And I think it's the same for me on Powerpuff Girls. Like I think it's just better as a cartoon. Yeah, uh, yeah. Having exactly. said that, if it comes out good, cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, if I'm wrong, awesome. That means we get a good Powerpuff Girls uh, interpretation. We'll see. I mean, it's on CW, and I uh, they might do. You never oh. know, man. Sometimes you know the first seasons in CW is, is either pretty good or really bad. It's it's one or the other. It's never in the middle for some reason. There's no like meh shows on the first season. After the first season, it gets meh. But that's All how right. I feel about CW. Well, let's. Here, I also had a couple other little excited things I was uh, happy for. So, uh, Netflix is still going all out with freaking movies this whole summer. I mean, they have a, the a new animated Resident Evil Infinite Darkness coming out July. I did 8th. hear that. Yeah. The trailer came out if you want to check that out. I did cool. see that, yeah. I, I saw um, the thing for it and I thought it was interesting. I, I'm not sure. I, I know about like the Resident Red Evil stuff, stuff, but it's just like so convoluted sometimes. Yeah, yeah um hbo max i guess is c coming out with a new batman animated series and i believe it was supposed to have um bruce tim was it supposed to have bruce tim yeah bruce tim was supposed to be on it so i'm like okay 90s batman okay come on and then uh matt so let's see uh a new batman from bruce tim matt reeves is supposed to be in it too and jj abrams is also working on it Hmm, okay, it's so an animated series. Uh, yeah, it's oh. gonna be an animated series. I don't know if, be... What other animated series has JJ Abrams worked on? Uh, I'm not too sure. It just yeah, it's just his name just seems weird in the list. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm excited for it. Anything new, Batman oh, is cool. It's, it's I just Seder. I think it's, they're going for. Oh, uh, right? interesting. I wonder if they're gonna go after after a specific version or a uh, comic run. But who knows? I mean, we're just going to have to see. Honestly, most of the Batman stuff that comes out is good. Like, even the newer, like, co cartoon animated Batman stuff, like, from the Brave and the Bold was pretty funny and good. It was more childish, but that was kind of the point of it. And I, I'm i happy for it. It's just kind of the same thing I feel about X-Men and Spider-Man and Batman. Is Mostly x Men supposed to come back, the 90s version. Or oh, that, right. Version. But I, I meant just X-Men in general. In, uh, in yeah, that. Yeah. There's just so much love pushed on them. You don't get the opportunity to explore the other amazing stories like Iron... Which, once again, MCU has been doing better with in the movies, but 
Marvel really needs to get its animated game up. The only good thing it's really done is Spider-Man. And, I mean, it can coast off of its Oscar or whatever it got from that, but... Stuff, yeah, that I, you know, that they have, like, on the their Disney channel of animated stuff. is It's okay. We've watched some of the Spider-Man yeah, f- Unlimited stuff on there. And it's, uh, I it's mean, okay. those are fine. I meant more of their, like, new movies and stuff. Oh, you mean like those? Like, oh, okay. The yeah, Avengers you know what? Ones, yeah. They really don't have any movies that, like, they had a few when they did in the early 2000s. Like, what was a Wolverine versus the Hulk? They had, yeah, I mean, they have a couple um, of different things there. But well. the problem is most of them are not to the quality of writing and animation that DC has put into their universe. Same. That's just yeah. my opinion. Not all of them, once again. Like, Planet Hulk's good, Wolverine vs. Hulk. You had a couple of Avengers movies that were all right. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, yeah, it's, there's not really, like, top, top ones like they have so far with the DC stuff. Like, I actually just finished watching Flashpoint um, yeah, this weekend, and yeah. that was a pretty good one. I liked it. It was good. Yeah um it's cool i mean i think i like the fact that they're very um serious i do think that's something they need to work on even in the animations department is like not every story needs to be flashpoint and war like literally justice league war or death in the family it's like you can have a a good event that is not like one of these really dark serious toned events uh like do flash war Mm -hmm. that'd be a great one with the with wally west and barry trying to like figure out who's the fastest and well there was more behind that but that's the kind of premise of the action of it you know what i mean i don't know there's just like i i but once again they're doing better than marvel so like can't criticize it too bad um also, let's see. Um, so, Arl Stein's got some new stuff coming on for Netflix as well, and he's got three new movies coming out for Netflix. And Does three he even weeks. write books anymore? <laughs> he, I don't know, but he's they're doing his uh, Fear Street um, books, okay. and uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a trilogy, but that starts on um, in July. So that, and they all kind of start off in different eras. One's like in 1978. The other one's like in 1666. Uh, um, the other one's like in the eighties. Um, so those will all be, um, in three weeks. <clears throat> so that'll be fun to watch. Um, we also got the confirmation of who's going to be playing our live action Wednesday Adams for the Netflix show. That's Tim Burton's going to be directing. Um, be, so that should be pretty good. Yeah, that'll be a good uh, one. I mean, Tim oh, Burton other, should be able to do. And then the other confirmation I was super excited about was we got our for sure Hocus Pocus 2 is happening and will be coming fall 2022. That is good. Um, and we also have all three of the sisters confirming on Twitter that they're all going to be back for their role. <laughs> it's nice. So it should be good. I think even the uh, young little girl that was in the first movie was also in talks to come back as well. Um, we'll see if the other two actors will come. I don't know. They'd be pretty. Well, how, how old is that movie already now? Like 20 years old now? I think that's kind of the point is they're trying to do it on like the anniversary thing that's matches the show or whatever. Or yeah, so I'm curious to about the, the show. We'll see what they do. What was the one sec? Oh, while you're looking that up, did you see um, the Riddler? I did. They apparently got inspired by the uh, Zodiac Killer, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That's somebody said. Somebody said uh, Paul Dano's Riddler doing his best Zodiac Killer impression. I guess he, this is just people are saying that. He, yeah, he. I mean, he does kind of look yeah like that. I could see that, but that, that's so funny. We'll I see how that movie turns out. Uh, yeah, um, there. I mean, it, I think it'll be fine. I've heard really good things about Pattinson from people who have like seen his other movies. He's good, so no, he's a good actor. No, 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 he is. Like after he, you know, the Twilight stuff, ugh, nasty. <laughs> but everything else after that, he's actually been a pretty good actor. I just actually. haven't really like, watched so. anything. Like no, I've not watched Jack crap with him in it after that. No, he's done some very like very serious. Um, I keep hearing oh, it. I just haven't sure. seen any of the movies, so I gotta go yeah. check them out. There's one that I think maybe you should check out. I think it's called The Water Elephant. I think is one of the his better ones. I've heard he that did. one. I heard it's either Tenant or another or Tenant. Ten, I don't know. Or The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse. I think oh, was Lighthouse was good, bro. With um, with what's his name, William Defoe in there. It's kind of like one of those ones where you kind of it's it makes you think like that movie for sure. Because at the end of the movie, you're like. 
the hell just happened? What did I just stop? I gotta piece everything together. <laughs> I heard it was weird. That's what I heard. <laughs> It is. It's a very weird movie for sure. That's for sure. But uh, it's one of my uh, not my favorite movies, but it's one of my more uh, interesting movies that I have watched in the past few years. Nice. Um, let's see here. Um, they did release a new trailer for the Back for Blood stuff. Um, I'm so I'm so so kind of not disappointed, but just sad that it won't be coming out till October because it was supposed to be a summer game, but. Uh, they went ahead and have, have to push it out over to October here. Um, lately, I don't know what it is, but games have just, like, not been living up to par with a lot of things. Like, I want to get that new Biomutant game, and it looked fun. It looks really fun, but now I'm seeing the reviews starting to come out, and they're... I, I mean, The they're thing okay. is, I think Biomutant would be kind of along the lines of, like, No Man's Sky, in the sense that it doesn't really have as much actual gaming as it does, like modeling and customizing or something i don't know that would be my guess just based on what the what i'd seen but i don't know yeah i've seen a couple of gameplay and like i said it looked fun but like i guess some of the people said it just it gets kind of repetitive some right of stuff. which, which is kind like... of the same with no man's sky it was like it was okay and there were things that were like kind of like up to par but like a, a lot of the in general promises were met and it just didn't have the playability really in the sense yeah. that you didn't feel like you were getting accomplishing things you weren't didn't feel like you were engaged and having fun in a lot of ways so i'm guessing it might kind of be similar to that there are other games i feel like that are really like that like um evolve not evolve the yeah, one but like for sure that was like it looked like a cool concept and it was it was it was fun to play it was right but then but... It, and it, it just wasn't like playable like it like was just, there was so much about it that it, the best up part is once again now things like Dead by Daylight, which are basically the same thing, are, 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 are similar in some ways, are uh, super popular, right? Like, they're, they're doing great, yeah. but they do evolve, a good job which, of, like, yeah, you know, you but I think it, giving it, you different villains and giving you different customizations yeah. for those villains. And you once again, Evolve that tried different. that kind of stuff, but I think there were just some basic flaws in its overall concept and... And was it? I remember my friend even telling me, he's like, dude, I can't wait till this game comes out so we can try it. And then at one point we're playing, he's like, dude, I never want to fucking play this game again. He's like, I'm so done with this dumb shit. And I was like, yeah, that, that, that I'm glad we got it for free. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Uh, we are coming up on the time. Uh, are, oh, is yeah, there to... yeah, no, yeah. Two, two more last things then with for you. Sure. Did you watch Modoc yet? No, it's on my list. I didn't know how many episodes were out yet, so oh, I didn't want to get episodes, into it. I believe. Eight are they ten. all out? Or yeah, they're all out. Really? Everything okay. Out. I thought yeah. they were only going to be doing a couple of releases, no, so that'll Hulu, be fun. Hulu kind of is the one that just, yeah. Oh, that's why it's on Hulu. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, because okay. they, they, they this show, definitely, they can't put that on Disney+. Plus. There's some things that are... Uh, I mean, that... I definitely assume that it would be a more adult show. Um, it, it is, it is one because it has Patton Oswald, and two because it, it it's is. about Modoc. And it isn't. I mean, it, it, there are some things that like you could, the kids could kind of watch, but not really because they then they talk about like sex sometimes. Right. And like it's it seems like a robot it, chicken. And, uh, you know, you know mean? that's what somebody said. Somebody yeah. said it's literally just one long robot chicken episode. <laughs> yeah, with Modoc <laughs> as the star. He yeah, and uh, just, uh, and honest, obviously the animation style lends to that but oh and the animation's good i really like the clay uh claymation oh, yeah, this. That, i, I mean very, i'm uh, sure it even yeah. has a higher level of claymation honestly than robot I feel chicken like it, is, it feels way more like uh higher quality than like even like wallace and grummet movies and stuff really? to me because I, I just i don't know what it is it just felt very full fl like flawless to me i don't know I, I wonder if they may have done like a mix I mean, that's that's what i say there might have been some computer generated i stuff think they might have maybe done a mix that or um it they it might be that they're implementing new technology right or something to keep the, yeah, the models you'll, in position. you'll definitely tell like yeah this claymation it, it looks pretty different. good you could <laughs> you could still see it was claymation just based on the models but yeah, it did look pretty good i i don't know it's rough i i do feel like wallace and gromit is a pretty high level but i don't know if they're they're what i would consider the highest level of claymation i've seen i think that would go to like things like um paranorman or uh yeah, like that, that's us trying to say that studio. They're called Likey or Lakey. Likey, studio. yeah, but but I would say Wallace and Gromit are actually some of their less high level work of their 
catalog. Because yeah, they're definitely, the older models. Definitely check out the first episode Up and uh, see what you look up. I, I'm I looking for something to so watch. So. Comedy's pretty funny. It makes me want to come back to the second one for sure. I'm, I'm yeah. so fucking laughing because the character in the show is exactly the character they're showing in the comic for his daughter. <laughs> oh, oh my god. There's this, this, I just have to tell you one part. There's this one part where they're doing a mural, right, for him. And it's the mural of Modok, but he's not wearing his armor. And it's just him with this little tiny weebie right there. And it's all <laughs> it's all blurred out. And uh, I was like, this that's the most like hilarious thing I've ever seen. It's like, I, I guess just needed to know how he looked about the <laughs> Bro, and I, I've, like I said, I, I've been looking forward to it because I enjoy Modoc's character, especially for what it is, which is really kind of gaggy nowadays. I think that Pat Aswald does a pretty good job of his character, too. I yeah, think that's so going to be the like only thing I'll have to push past, but I do it in every other show because he's in every <laughs> animated show now. God damn it, Pat Aswald throws wa- um, rocket wall. And the last thing I wanted to go was that uh, I can't believe this, but June 20th, uh, Rick and Morty are gonna yeah, be really season five. Ten yeah. episodes, though. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Ten new episodes on the same He must have stopped day. drinking for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Finally so stop drinking. Is that, the, is that the whole season and then that's it? It's done? Like, and he's like a regular release? Done. Hey, I mean, I'm alright with that. Look, that's they said, I mean, they said like, how, how many seasons did he promise us? A hundred? <laughs> he's gotta get... He's got to get working, baby. Have you been watching? You haven't checked out the Solar Opposites yet, either, have no, you? No, I've just check got so much stuff. When you get the MODOK on, to add it to your list when you can. And ch- definitely check out those two when you can. But other than that, that's that's pretty much all I had on my list here. Nice. Uh, there were a couple things. I mean, I wanted to go over the uh, uh, Camerata thing. and Yeah, yeah, that's very still sad then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there was, there was other stuff, too. Uh... I know they had been doing a big, just on that note that they were doing a big uh, Final Fantasy salute for him because of the Dark Knight class or something. I don't know. But uh, with that being said, I know that uh, the Resident Evil 8 stuff has kind of like settled down now. And so like, yeah, so now people are starting to like talk about it. And I think it's safe to like talk about the thing. So there's a lot in that uh, game that was interesting. And it, I think it's cool because they do do that long form storytelling in Resident Evil, which is super confusing because they use too many characters. But it's still nice because they uh, they do the like small hint writing. You know what I mean? Where like you can you could you could pick out the story if you're paying attention to the details and kind of like that sixth sense. He was dead the whole time thing. <laughs> and they had, there were all the clues in front of you. So I think that's the only thing I want to say about that. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, nice. Sorry. Sorry. Right, then, well, yeah, I had nothing else either on my end. Alrighty. Well, I think we're gonna uh, go ahead and be good for today. I did, you know, I never did check that. Man. Okay. But uh, yeah, thanks for everybody who checked in and watched. Hopefully, next week we'll both have caught up on more comics. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I've been so catching up. I'm uh, uh, definitely have a pile of stuff to read still. Uh, I just restarted like my because I like stopped halfway through because I was done with the side sheets and I was like I'm just gonna wait until I can figure out what is necessary to read for King in Black. So I'm still only halfway through it and I'm like, all right, time to like finish off King in Black so I can get into the all the next bullshit that's coming. You know what I mean? Uh, reborn stuff, yeah, is which is dude the heroes me. reborn, yeah, has been yeah it's been all right it's been okay it's it's Come really on. interesting because you know what they're doing but yeah we'll we'll save that for next week maybe when because they i yeah. forgot i don't know how many issues they're gonna do with that we'll see what's it was only like gonna be uh five to six issues so it was yeah gonna, that's what i was it's thinking. gonna be all done in about this month this next month and yeah it'll be done. that's what i was thinking and there i know they had just released three or four already so we cut off one of the mini series that they had planned as well yeah which i don't blame them i mean the market is what the market is and you know they can only keep books that sell but yeah thank you for everybody uh watching and yeah hopefully we'll see you guys all next week on comic convos
If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.